Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am showcasing a double steel team, including Pelipper lead with Galarian Stuntfisk and Berserker in the back. This team does pretty well because less and less Azumarill are running Hydro Pump. With Ice Beam and Play Rough on most Azumarills, steel types have even more play than usual. I went 12 wins and 3 losses, and I really think this team is pretty strong with how the meta is right now. I will be showing you the team's overview, the strategies I use when I battle with this theme, how to play the most common lead scenarios, and a set of 5 battles. Pelipper on the lead catches Galarian Stunfisk, but most importantly fighting, ground, and fire types, as well as Azumarill. Galarian Stunfisk covers Pelipper very well, and Pelipper covers almost all of Galarian Stunfisk's weaknesses. It, in most cases, is the hard cover to pull up her when the bad lead is seen. Berserker does what Galarian Stunfisk does, with the trade-offs being it's less bulky, but having a factor of surprise and being able to hit back hard against any Pokemon you will see. Not many people know what the moveset of Berserker is. With only two extra Shadow Claws worth of energy, it beats a lot of Pokemon that should be counters to it, like Obstagoon, Vigoroth, Scrafty, and Alolan Marowak, and even Play Rough and Ice Beam Azumarill. With three, Berserker beats Swampert and can bring Deoxys and Metacham in the red. When utilizing Pelipper and Berserker, you have to be constantly counting your opponent's fast moves, knowing exactly when to throw a charge move. This is because with those two Pokemon, a little bit extra energy determines a loss or a win. When utilized correctly, they can wreak havoc on any team. This team functions like a classic ABB team. If you don't find a counter to your backline on the lead, you swap trying to draw out the counter and maybe getting a shield or winning back switch advantage in the process. Then, with the counter drawn out and with shield advantage, your last Pokemon has a high chance of sweeping your opponent's backline. On the screen you will see text showing you how to play different lead scenarios. I will talk over and give more detail on the tougher and more complicated matchups. A Galarian Stunfisk has a high chance of Toxicroak, Metacham, or Zoomerill in the back, so keeping your Pelipper alive is crucial. Always shield the first Rock Slide, in case they swap into a Zoomerill and you won't have enough HP to take the Zoomerill out as well. If they stay in, match shields but don't throw a Weather Ball right away, so they don't catch it on a different Pokemon. You could also try to catch a rock slide on your Berserker or Galarian Stuntfisk. Risky, but rewarding if you pull it off. Azumarill lead. Go straight for Hurricane and match shields. Once you have landed a Hurricane, farm as much energy as possible and throw a Weather Ball. Right before they get to a charge move. It is imperative that you count your opponent's fast moves so you throw at the right possible time, gaining as much energy as possible without having to spend a shield. Meganium lead is probably the hardest th lead this team can face. What I like to do is shield the first move, stack two weather balls, and throw them back to back. Then, try to catch the second frenzy plant on Berserker. Thankfully, most Meganiums are kept as closers. When you see a Shadow Obama Snow on the lead, swap to Galarian Stuntfisk, since Berserker is actually your best counter, resisting all of the charge moves and fast moves. Most Shadow Obama Snow leads have a Zoomerill in the back, so drawing the Zoomerill out is crucial. In the first match, I lead Pelipper and my opponent leads Skarmory. This is a losing matchup for Pelipper, so I swap into my Berserker, and my opponent responds with Swampert. I'm going to try to force a CMP tie by throwing my close combat right as they get to a Hydro Cannon, 
The close combat does land and does a lot of damage. So now I'm happy with just letting my Berserker go down. And I'm going to farm down this uh, Swampert with my Pelipper and gain a lot of energy. Unfortunately, they get to a move at 1 HP. And I thought this was going to be a Hydro Cannon, but it's actually Sludge Wave, which is pretty unfortunate. So now I'm going to try to grab a shield if I can or do some chip damage in the process. So I go for a weather ball after stacking two. And then I swap into my Galarian Stunfisk, but my opponent has a counter for that, and that is a Vigoroth. So I'm thinking that the only way I can win this battle is if my opponent doesn't bait with Body Slam and go straight Bulldoze. And they do. So now a win condition is surfaced. I just need to bait out this Earthquake with Rock Slide. I do bait out the shield, and now I can go for Earthquake after shielding this move. It is the Body Slam, but since I am so low, I, even though I resist it, it will take me out from here. And so I'm able to get to the Earthquake, and it does take out the Vigoroth. And I just need to get to a Rock Slide to put the Skarmory in Weather Ball range, since I have a Weather Ball stored on my Pelipper. So I do get a Weather uh, Rock Slide off, and I can go for the Weather Ball on my Pelipper, and that takes out the Skarmory. Good game, and well played. In the second match here, I find a good lead, a Scrafty. So my opponent swaps into Meganium, and I'm going to build up a little bit of energy and throw Weather Ball. And they actually take it for uh, a Hurricane in the shield. So now I'm going to catch a Frenzy Plant on my Berserker. And what I want to do here is f go for a Foul Play, Shield, and farm it completely down. Having a close combat ready for the Scrafty. So I am going to Shield here. And I am just not able to farm it down and my opponent survives at 1 HP. So I am going to commit 2 shields knowing that if the Scrafty comes back in I will either be able to do massive damage on the Scrafty or get the shield back. So the Scrafty comes back in and I go for the close combat and boom it lands and does a lot of damage. I try to swap into Pelipper to take it out before he, uh, my opponent can switch out, but it was a mistake because they actually had a Galvantula in the back, and my Pelipper got absolutely destroyed. But now I can bring in my Galarian Stunfisk into this Galvantula, and this is pretty much good game because my opponent's Scrafty does not have enough HP to take out my Galarian Stunfisk at this range. The Rock Slide doesn't KO, but I can pretty much just farm it down. The Galvantula goes down, and I have a Rock Slide ready on my Galarian Stunfisk, and it takes out the Scrafty. Good game. In this match, my opponent leads Galarian Stunfisk. So here, I'm going to actually uh, I'm not going to catch any move on my Preserker, and I probably should have shielded here, because my opponent, um, is a high chance of my opponent having a Fighter or an Azumarill in the back. So I go for Weather Ball here, and I go for the second one. It does warrant a shield, so now I'm going to shield myself. And I do win CMP tie against the Galarian Stunfisk. And then they swap into an Azumarill. So I can't really swap out here where the Azumarill is at this health range. So I have to go for the Hurricane. And it does land and does massive amounts of damage. And I should have probably thrown the Weather Ball for chip damage because uh, my opponent throws. So they do throw their energy. And now what I'm going to do is come in with my Preserker. 
and not wanting to get hit with a possible hydro pump, player off, or ice beam, I'm just going to go straight for close combat. It does take out the Azumarill, and out comes the Galarian Stunfisk. So this tells me whatever is in the back is definitely weak to Berserker, and they actually swapped into a Skarmory and caught the foul play on my Berserker. So my suspicions were right, and what I'm going to do is catch a Sky Attack on my Galarian Stunfisk, and store up a lot of energy on my Berserker. I know that the Galarian Stunfisk on my opponent's side has a lot of energy, so I need to be wary of that. I go for the Rock Slide, and I think I'm going to try to completely farm down here. They go for a Sky Attack, and seeing that I'm trying to farm them down, they swap into the Galarian Sunfisk. So I throw the Earthquake immediately. They do shield, and it was a CMP tie. But what I'm going to do here, knowing that the Skarmory is still alive, is actually let my Galarian Sunfisk go down. And stack up two close combats, and throw them back to back on my Berserker. First one goes through and takes out the Galarian Sunfisk. And the second one takes out the Skarmory. Good game, and well played. In this match, my opponent leads Jirachi. This is somewhat of a neutral matchup, but I have two counters in the back aligned for it, and um, Jirachi lots of times has a fighter in the back, so I'm going to swap into my Berserker and try to draw it out. And I do draw out a Scrafty, and I'm able to get a Shield as well, which is great, because... Um, if my opponent didn't shield, I probably could have just shielded the power punch and completely farmed down. So I come in with my Pelipper now. And because they have been power up punch boosted, I definitely do not want to eat a foul play. So I am going to shield. Stack two weather balls and throw them back to back. And my opponent actually shields here because they were one counter away from getting to a foul play. So I'm just hoping this KOs and it just barely does. So when the Jirachi comes back, I'm going to come in with my Galarian Stunfisk. And there is an Azumarill in the back. So even though it's a losing matchup for Galarian Stunfisk, I have shield advantage. So I can just go straight Earthquake, shield this move because all of Jirachi's moves are resisted. It is an Ice Beam, but I think I am able to get to the Earthquake before they get to another move. They do survive, but I'm able to farm it down. And nothing from Jirachi from this range will KO Galarian Sunfisk. Doom Desire comes through, does a decent chunk, but isn't enough to KO. And I can go for the Earthquake and take out the Jirachi. Good game and well played. In this match, there is another Galarian Stunfisk lead. So this time, I'm actually going to try to swap into my Berserker and catch the Rock Slide, which I do. And my opponent, for some reason, responds with Skarmory. Perhaps usually having a fighter swap in. So it is a bit unusual that they swapped into the Skarmory. Maybe it was a misclick, but I'm going to take advantage of it and just go for another foul play. Now my opponent actually do sh does shield, so I got shield advantage. And now I can come in with my Galarian Sunfisk. They threw their sky attack right away, so I know it's not a brave bird. And now, I'm going to try to load up on as much energy as possible. Just go to 100 energy. So if the Galarian Stunfisk comes back in, I have an Earthquake to threaten it. I go for the Rock Slide right before maxing out 100 energy. And... My opponent actually brings in a Deoxys. So, this is going to be quite tough because Deoxys is very bulky and has access to Thunderbolt, which one-shots my Pelipper. 
Thankfully, I am able to land an earthquake on the Deoxys, so now we can go for a rock slide. And seeing that they didn't shield, I'm gonna swap into my Pelipper, double shield, and try to farm down. I do shield the first move, and it is a Thunderbolt. And then a second move comes through when they're at one HP. And unfortunately, I wasn't counting, so I shield up a Psycho Boost, which definitely did not need a shield. They have one shield and an almost full health Galarian Stunfisk, but I do have a lot of energy on my Pelipper, so if I just time my charge moves and fast moves right, I should be able to get to two and take out the Galarian Stunfisk. Now, I get a lot of lag here, so I'm really worried that my opponent is getting in free fast moves. But it was just the wait time for the uh, rock slide. So rock slide comes through and nearly takes out my Pelipper, but I'm able to survive. And since the fast moves are double resisted, I can go for back to back weather balls and take out the Galarian Stunfisk. Good game and well played. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video or it helped you in any way, please do consider subscribing, as only 13% of my viewers are subscribed. Anyways, happy battling. Peace.